County now, the family of a man allegedly murdered by his own stepson in Bowie over the weekend. Well, they are blaming the suspect's mother for failing to take action to prevent the tragedy. The man you see here on the left is Ron Pinckney, who was killed at his Bowie home Saturday morning. His stepson, Navar T. Beverly, is accused of posing for a selfie with Pinckney's body after the crime. The sister of the deceased man shouted in court as the accused killer had a bail review. Scott Broom is in Bowie with new information that's just been released through that court hearing. Scott? And talk about shouting in court. The suspect himself with a long criminal history and apparent severe mental health issues also shouted in court about being hit by a satellite. He had to be restrained and escorted away from the closed circuit camera. He was speaking to a judge on. 38-year-old Navar Terrence Beverly is accused of apparently beating his 65-year-old stepfather, Ron Pinckney, to death Saturday morning and then using his Twitter account to tweet a selfie posing with his stepfather's body. The crime committed here at the family's home in Bowie. Pinckney apparently lived in fear in his own home. His stepson, Navar Beverly, allegedly attacked Pinckney two months before, and sources close to the situation here say there have been repeated violent incidents in this home because Beverly... Uh, suffered from severe mental illness. He has a long criminal history, including assault and murder charges that were dropped some years ago. In court today, Pinckney's sister shouted that Beverly's mother should be charged for protecting her son from authorities. The family has not responded on that issue. Beverly was ordered by a judge to stay locked up without bail this afternoon. So a terrible tragedy here in Bowie, and now a uh, family apparently battling with each other over who may have been responsible uh, for this uh, terrible incident and some of the uh, situation uh, that led up to this terrible crime. Again, uh, Navar Beverly has been ordered held without bail as investigators continue to look into this case and the terrible history involved. Reporting live in Bowie, Scott Broom, WUSA 9. Doesn't sound like we're done with this case just yet. Scott, thank you.